We start match number two of your television portion of Houston Wrestling. And you are looking now at Tiger Conway Jr. He's the one on the right, and he's the one backed into the corner. And the tall, rangy man from Abilene is Don Slayton. And Don is a capable veteran of the wrestling game. And you can tell where his roots are. He's in the ring with blue jeans and western boots. And he is applying a good, solid Texas type hold, that twisting arm lock, as Irish Danny McChain continues the chore of refereeing. And this match has a 15 minute time limit or one fall, whichever should come first. And Slayton up there is trying to talk Tiger Conway Jr. out of using that fist, which he had all clenched and ready to throw. But he's not hesitating about using those big boots of his. So Slayton, in a matter of speaking, puts the boots to the Tiger. But when you do that to Tiger, he gets mad. It's a long arm. That can surely be an advantage in wrestling as well as in boxing to be able to reach out and do something to the other fellow before he gets close enough to do it to you. We've got a whole bunch of kids celebrating birthdays today. We want to wish Sheila Rambo a happy birthday. Sheila is one of my very good young friends and she never misses a Friday night. Sheila, happy birthday. And happy birthday to Renee Espinosa, two years old, from Houston. And Cara Crystal Martinez, who is one year old and has come over from Beaumont. And having a birthday today is Benjamin Vitello, who is five years of age and is celebrating here at Houston Wrestling tonight. And so is Lori Kirkpatrick, who is visiting from Marion, Indiana, and is in the Coliseum tonight celebrating her 15th birthday, and we wish Laurie a happy Texas birthday. Thanks to all those youngsters for picking Houston Wrestling as the place they'd like to celebrate their birthday. We feel very honored. Slayton coming at you. Long-legged individual, too. But he didn't, he didn't use his long arms or his long legs, and it didn't matter what size Tiger's legs were, they caught Slayton right smack in the kisser and, oh man, a solid meeting. And Slayton spitting up blood from the driving feet of Tiger Conway Jr. Well, <laughs> evidently he's ready. Or at least, that's the way they do it in Abilene when they're ready. Crowding is the Tiger. Oh, man, you almost had to throw him in sections. It seemed like the top half of him had gone halfway across the ring before the bottom half started. And Slayton wants to sign a peace pact here. Yes, that's the way you feel. Oh, man, he, he hit hard and he hit going in two directions at the same time. It's a long, lean, lanky Don Slayton. He's a veteran of the match. He knows what he's doing in there. And he's up against the fire of Tiger Conway Jr., who most certainly is aware of what he's doing in there. Crotch hold, a lift, and that's the way to bounce him. And again, he bounced him right on his sacroiliac, and Slayton is aware of it.
So Conway moves Five into the tunnel. Minutes. That's a towering individual, but Conway knows that you got to get in close to him, whether they're bigger than you are or smaller than you are. So Don Slayton is against the ropes, and Tiger is trying to measure him to see what he can get out of this. Oh, and again he hit in that same awkward, damaging, dangerous, painful fashion. Oh, how that can really rack your back. Leg dive, nice move by Don Slayton, but a nicer move by Tiger Conway as he decided he didn't like the idea of his foot being held prisoner. So Slayton surveys him. He had something in mind, but what he had in mind did not include the tiger getting down there and looking him in the eye. Ooh, that was, that hold him and hit him wallop, but that one hit him on top of the head, and tiger doesn't mind those kind of wallops. He drove it in there. Slayton literally just fell over the top rope. When he bent over halfway, he was then about even with the rope. So on the floor is Don Slayton, and Tiger's waiting for him. Slayton again gets in that defensive position, stays close in that corner, arguing about the use of the head, checking to see what he has in his hair. <laughs> I think that's what he wanted to know. He thought he was hit with something besides Tiger's head. Just one more he wants. Just one more. Well, he took one more, but he sure wasn't doing what we expected he had asked to do. Tiger now in trouble. Oh, he's in trouble, but he is fighting his way out of that trouble. And that is typical of Tiger Conway, as it was typical of his father before him. Slayton tried to set him up, but it didn't quite work out that way. There's Tiger looking for his flying headbutt. There he is, and he found it. Drove it in there. On top is Tiger. There it is. The winner of the match, 8 minutes, 46 seconds, Tiger Conway, Jr. Tiger Conway, Jr., the winner of a Don Slayton. And I.W. Marks wants to remind you that his remounting sale is still in progress right now, but you're going to have to hurry to be able to take advantage of it.